Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss a very interesting topic and frequently asked question in the interview that why the overload relay is required in the motor circuit in order to provide the overload protection. Though there is MCB or MCCB are there in the circuit which are capable enough to provide protection against the overload. What is the question? We know very well to run the motor, we need one breaker one contactor and one overload relay. We know that the MCB or MCCB is capable enough to provide the protection to the connected load against the overload as well as against the source circuit. So MCB or MCCB have the option to protect the connected load from uh, the overload condition. Then why there is additional requirement of overload relay to protect the motor from overload? Hope you got the question. In order to understand the concept behind this, we have to calculate the rating of the circuit breaker, rating of the contactor and the rating of the overload relay. So let us first take one example and calculate the rating of circuit breaker, contactor and overload relay. I took an example and in that example, I took the rating of the motor is 37 kilowatt. Here is the name plate of this motor. The rating of the motor in kilowatt is 37 kilowatt. In HP it is 50 and the full current rating of the motor is 69 ampere. Okay. The power factor is 0 0.85 and the efficiency of the motor is 90% and it is a three phase motor. These are the information is important to understand the concept behind that raised question. Now our motto is to calculate the rating for this circuit breaker then we have to calculate the rating of this contactor and then we will calculate the rating of the overload relay. From the nameplate detail, it is very clear that the motor rating is 37 kilowatt and the full load current for the motor is 69 ampere. You can also calculate the full load current of the motor by using this formula. That is full load current is equal to P divided by root 3 into V into cos phi into efficiency where the P is the rating of the motor that is 37 into 1000 watt divided by root 3 into V. V here it's also mentioned the voltage 380 to 440 volt. Here I took the mean value of 380 and 440 that is the 410 volt. So the V will be 410 volt cos phi is 0.85 from the nameplate detail and the efficiency of the motor is 90%. If you will put all the numerical value here you will get the same answer more or less the same answer. Okay, now the full load current we know that is 69 ampere. The circuit breaker rating will be 1.25 to 1.5 times of the motor full load current. This is the standard. We have to select the circuit breaker which would have the rating 1.25 to 1.5 times of the full load current. So here I selected 1.25 times of the full load current. So the circuit breaker rating will be 1.25 into 69 ampere that would be 120 ampere. So from the selection chart of the circuit breaker we will see which one is the next higher closer rating available in the market. So here we see that the nearest close rating of our calculated circuit breaker is 120 amp 125 ampere. So we selected an MCCB with rating of 125 ampere. Here I mentioned C type. Why I mentioned C type MCCB? Here you can see that MCB and MCCB have different types that is called the curve types of that breaker. Here there are class A type, class B type, class C type, class D type, class K type and class H type. And different breakers in different class will have the trip setting. For the class A it is 2 to 3 times of the rated current, class B type 3 to 5 times of the rated current, class C type 5 to 10 times of the rated current. In same way class D have 10 to 20 times of the rated current, class K type 8 to 12 times and class Z type 2 to 3 times. What does it indicate? It indicates that class A type MCB will hold the current 2 to 3 times of its rated current for some interval of time at the time of starting and if that MCB is fine this current is for the prolonged time then it will trip the MCB. This curve rating is important to avoid the nuisance tripping of the MCB. Let me explain this one to understand better. As we know well, at the time of starting of the motor, motor taking 3 to 5 times of its full load current. 
when it is in star delta when we will start the motor in star delta technique and it, the motor will take 5 to 7 times of its full load current when we will start the motor in DOL technique. The, or the conclusion of whole discussion is that at the time of starting of the motor, motor is taking more than its rated current. Suppose there is one MCV connected with that motor and at the time of starting the motor taking more than its rated current but that high in this current at the time of starting of the motor will be more than the rated current for the MCV. So the MCV will trip. Due to this trip setting, the MCV will not trip at the time of starting for several seconds. And once the MCV will not trip at the time of starting and after 3 to 5 seconds, the inverse current will vanish. So due to this trip curve setting of the MCV, the nuisance tripping on the circuit will be avoided. The suitable type for the inductive load is type C. And here, we are calculating and selecting the circuit breaker for the motor which is an inductive load that's why i took the mccb which having a rating of 125 ampere c type hope you got this concept now after calculating the breaker rating that is 125 ampere let us calculate the contactor rating as we know that the motor rating is 37 kilowatt and the full load current is 69 ampere so the contactor rating also will be 1.25 to 1.5 times of the full load current. So here I selected the factor 1.25 of the full load current. So the contactor current is also equal to 1.25 into 69 ampere that is 120 ampere. From the selection chart we will select the next higher rating of the contactor. So our calculated contactor rating is 120 ampere and the next available contactor in the market is 150 ampere so i selected the contactor rating as 150 ampere ac3 type here also like mcb we have the contactor different types which is called its utilization category for different application of load we have different types of contactor like for ac1 type of contactor is used for resistive load ac2 type contactor is used for slippering motors AC3 type contactor is used for squirrel cage motor and AC4 type contactor is used for the squirrel type motor only but with the quenching operation. What is quenching operation? Meaning motor will start and stop very frequently. Within a minute it will start two to three times and again it will stop. So that operation is called quenching operation. As we selected here the motor which is an induction motor and the squirrel cage type that's why I selected the contactor type is AC3. After calculating the contactor rating, now let us calculate the rating of overload relay. Overload relay not coming in a fixed value like MCB, like breakers and contactors. Overload relay is coming in a range like 2 ampere to 4 ampere, 10 ampere to 12 ampere or 15 ampere. So we have to calculate the rating of the overload relay in a range. The basic rule to calculate the overload relay range is that we have to take 20% less than the motor full load current and we have to take the 20% more than the full load current. So here I calculated the 20% less than the full load current of the motor and 20% more than the full load current of the motor. When we will do the numerical calculation then we will get the OLR rating as 55.2 ampere to 82.8 ampere. So we have to select an overload relay from the selection chart which having the current ampere rating between 55.2 ampere to 82.8 ampere. From this selection chart we can see that here it is written rating of the induction motor and here the motor ratings are given. So when we will scroll down there is a motor rating that is 37 kilowatt and the ampere rating range for the OLR is given 57 to 75. Our calculated our calculated overload relay current rating is 55.2 to 82.8 ampere but from the selection chart we got an overload relay which having the current rating of 7, uh, 57 ampere to 75 ampere which is in between its range. So we will go for that OLR. Now this is the selection of the overload relay. 
but at which value we will select the OLR uh, overload relay in order to protect the motor from OLR. As we know that the full load current of the motor is 69 ampere. So we can say that any current after 69 ampere will be considered overload current for this motor, right? So we have to select the OLR less than the 69 ampere as any current after 69 ampere will be considered as a overload current for this motor. The basic funda to select to set the OLR is to select the OLR between 80 to 90 percent of the full load current. So here I took in between that is the 85 percent of the full load current of the motor. The full load current of the motor is 69 ampere. So 85 percent of 69 ampere is 58.65 ampere. In the overload relay there will be a dial where it is mentioned 57 ampere and minimum rating 57 ampere and the maximum rating as per the selection 75 ampere and in between there are some more values written between 57 and 75 we will set the dial to 58.65 ampere so this overload relay will be set at this value now we have calculated the breaker rating that is 125 ampere the contactor rating that is 150 ampere and the overload relay rating which is 57 to 75 ampere for a motor of 37 kilowatt now let us back to our original topic that is why overload relay is connected with the motor circuit in order to protect the motor from overload though there is mcb or mccb in that circuit which is capable enough to protect the motor from overload this is our topic and to understand this topic we have calculated the rating of breaker contactor and overload relay from this discussion what we observe that the breaker rating which we calculated is 125 ampere the contactor rating which we calculated is 150 ampere and the overload relay rating which we calculated is 57 ampere to 75 ampere now here we have to observe one very important point. What is that point? The point is we selected or we calculated the circuit breaker which having a current rating of 125 ampere. So for this circuit breaker when will be the overload current? The overload current will be any current which is after 125 ampere. But the motor which we selected the breaker for is having a full load current of 69 ampere. So any current after 69 ampere will be considered as a overload current for this motor but for this circuit breaker which we selected the current rating is 125 ampere so any current beyond 125 ampere will be considered as a overload current for this circuit breaker so suppose if 80 ampere will current flow through any abnormality in the motor then for the circuit breaker this current won't be the overload condition for the motor and it will pass this current without tripping itself but for the motor this 80 ampere of current will be the overload that is the reason why we provided an additional overload relay to protect the motor accurately from the overload condition here we see that we selected an overload relay with the range of 57 to 75 ampere and we set that motor at 58.65 ampere okay so whenever a current which will flow more than 58.65 ampere the overload relay will trip the contactor in order to break the circuit and in any cases more than this current will not flow through the motor as the overload relay before crossing this value will trip the circuit so hope you got the clear idea and clear concept that why the mcb or mccb is not providing overload protection to a motor and we need the protection to a motor from the overload so we added overload relay so the motor will have the overload protection i hope you clearly understood this topic if you find this video informative then please hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please share this video with your electrical friends please react in the comment section how you find this video and what are the improvements required in the video we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much